Well, the entire house is not concrete. There's a good portion of it that's wood, and we have really switched over because all the walls are poured, and now it's time for the woodwork. So I'm up on the roof, my back is facing south, and I'm in a window frame, and I'm facing north. So the roof on my back side is a little bit lower, and the roof on this side, which is a 512 pitch, goes all the way to the back of the house. This allows sunlight to come in from about a third of the way into the living room, all the way to the back of the house. This also provides a tremendous amount of ventilation because these windows up here I'll be able to open them. So in the summer when it's really hot, I can open them up and get a good airflow through the house. And in the winter, if I fire up the wood-burning stove to cook and it gets a little toasty inside, I can open up that window and vent out that hot air. This is a great way to use convective circulation in the house to provide a good airflow with absolutely no power usage. So we talked about last time how we transition from the concrete wall to the wood structure above it. There is that plate that was put on and all the bolts that were dropped into the concrete screw that board right on the rim. And then you can see here the rafters go right over that and tie in. Now behind me is a little bit different because we have a clear story structure. So the rafters on the other side go down to form a 512 pitch. The rafters on this side are a 312 pitch, and this will be where the solar panels are. So I'd like to give a little word to those who are building their own home. When you do the drawings, the drawings have a tremendous amount of detail on them. And you can look at these over and over again and think this is what we wanted, and you just make assumptions and you won't see little things in there. There's a bedroom below us. We thought the boys' bedrooms were equally sized. Well, they're slightly offset. The center wall is slightly offset to one side. I thought the builder made a mistake, and he said, no, look at the drawings. This is exactly where this wall needs to go. And so, well, that came up again today. These plans are sent off to the people that order the windows, the doors, also the people that design the floor joists that are below my feet. And when they looked at those plans, they assumed that this beam above my head was in the center of the building. So the beam below my foot is actually positioned such that it can carry the weight of that all the way from the roof, down through the floor, and down to the concrete foundation. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. Now, we had looked at the plans over and over again, and we never noticed that it was significantly offset. The builder didn't either, either until he came to put it together. And that's where the rubber meets the road. He called me over and he said, these rafters don't line up. And we quickly realized it's because this beam did not belong in the center of the house. It was offset about two and a half feet from where it was actually placed before. And so now we went back to the floor design and had some LVLs that we need to put in downstairs to transfer the load from the top into that beam and all the way down to the foundation. But again, the point here is be sure when you look at those plans that all those details are covered because when you make assumptions, you can make a lot of big mistakes. One little bonus we got from transitioning that beam from the center to the offset position is the transition from the flat ceiling, which is on the south side, to the cathedral ceiling, which is on the north side. Turns out there's about a three-foot ledge, I guess, up there, 
that uh, we're going to have to figure out what to do. We could put some plants up there. We could, uh, I could put a little bedroll up there and a little ladder so somebody could sleep up there. But it's a cut, kind of a neat little nook that we got. And uh, we're going to try to figure out how to best utilize that. What the heck is going on over here? We've got work to do. I have a living room, or at least I can pretend I do, and I can enjoy the view. Yeah, you have no windows, you have no glass. I have a lot of you imagination. Got, you get, <laughs> you've got no grass around the pond. I guess this is all just a dream. It's all about vision. Vision. I have vision. <laughs> all right, you stick with that. <laughs> Well, the uh, concrete is just about at 28 days reaching full strength, so we started putting some backfill on it. Got some waterproofing, that's that dimple membrane that's used on the side of the house. And we had a pretty good downpour last night. I think it was an inch or two inches, and we don't have any leaks down there. So this ceiling seems to be nice and tight and water dry, and now we can bring the rest of the backfill over it. There's several feet of dirt that needs to still go up on that wall. Well, you know, the kids are super excited about moving down here, and this weekend, my kids came down to sleep in their rooms. Now, it's soaking wet now because there was a big storm that came through, but uh, there's still, Aiden's got his rock collection on the windowsill here, and uh, they come down here and sit and stuff, and Michaela, she actually, I'm going to go back in the larder here. Got a little tired of camper life. Got, got tired of the camper life. There's some pallets, a piece of plywood, and pulled one of the mattresses out of the Connex. <laughs> he actually is sleeping in the lap of luxury down here in the larder. And actually, this room, she was here during the storm because this is actually completely sealed. So uh, the water actually on the floor came from the basement, which is which is not covered, but. Uh, I told her, I said, if there's a tornado, we're all joining you down there at about 2 o'clock in the morning. She said, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Kids. Well, we're getting close. The next goal is to get a roof on. The rain is significantly impacting us. It rains uh, 50 to 60% of the days this month have been rain, so it slows us down quite a bit. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. We love your comments. And if you haven't, please subscribe and join us on our journey. We'll see you next week.